What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to episode 94 of the Fortnite Mythbusters. Episode 94. We are, uh pretty close to 100. Anyways guys, just like always, if you do have a myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes of the Fortnite Mythbusters, make sure to go down in the comments and drop a comment of that myth for a pretty good chance to be featured. As well, if you do enjoy today's video at any moment, feel free to consider leaving a like. It helps me out so much. Let's see if we could smash 10,000 likes on today's episode. That would be insane. As well, if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more videos by me, feel free to subscribe and turn on those post notifications to never miss another Fortnite Mythbusters episode. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right on into today's episode of the Fortnite Mythbusters. Jumping straight into the first myth, the first myth is by holding a vault keycard, will the keycard work on ID scanners? Now I thought this was actually a very, very good myth because it might lead to something that a whole ton of people might not know about the vault keycards and the ID scanners that are in the game. If you don't know already, there's chests as well as doors at many of these uh, ghost or even shadow headquarters areas where you basically have to be in the disguise of a ghost or even a shadow in order to open up a specific door or even a chest. At the agency, you have to be a shadow henchman, I, I guess that's what it's called, a shadow henchman, to open up a certain chest in the in the main office, but whenever I am holding the vault key card, uh, it, it still doesn't allow you, which really, I, I feel like it should let you open up the chest and get the loot inside. But of course, unfortunately, you have to be wearing the shadow henchman disguise or even bring a shadow henchman yourself up to that scanner in order for you to open that or even a specific door. Going straight into the next myth, the next myth is, can you heal henchmen with a natural campfire? On the last episode of the Fortnite Mythbusters, we found out that you could actually kill a a boss or even a henchman and carry them out of their I, I guess their main island so the agency or even the rig as long as you have a pathway leading from that all the way up to the main island so a lot of people are wondering do natural campfires chug splashes or even cozy campfires actually heal the henchmen and keep them alive for a longer amount of time unfortunately with the current state of fortnite cozy campfires chug splashes and many of those healing items that you could throw down and it will affect anybody they're not in the game unfortunately at the moment i can't even do a creative glitch back to the main island to kind of bypass that that vaulting of the weapons uh or even the consumables when i tried this specific myth out i carried a henchman from the agency to a nearby campfire that is natural and i lit it and surprisingly it actually does heal the henchman while he is downed uh it's basically like a player and it does keep him alive for about a good 10 extra seconds so it's nothing too crazy like uh in extra like 10 minutes going straight into the next myth the next myth is when you are disguised as a henchman can you revive other down henchmen now this myth a whole ton of you guys were actually requesting it because honestly it makes sense i mean if you're wearing a henchman disguise and you get knocked on the ground or a henchman gets knocked down you should be able to pick them up because the henchmen they will go and revive their own teammates unfortunately though when you do disguise as a henchman and you go up to another henchman who is knocked down and you go and try and revive them the only option you get is to shake down them which basically allows you to see uh, anything to do with that boss uh, like the whole entire area so you can see chests, other henchmen all of that sort of stuff after you shake down the enemy henchmen uh, the, the only other option is to carry them and then usually a regular henchman will come up and actually start reviving them so unfortunately you cannot revive a henchman even though I, I, I really don't see why you would do that in a regular game going into another highly requested myth this myth is when you're disguised as a shadow henchman and try to open a shadow henchman chest at a different location Will you actually be able to open up the chest through the ID scanner? This specific myth, I tested it at a certain building that is a little bit south of Sweaty Sands, and it's basically a shadow henchman area. I mean, I from what I know, it's a shadow henchman area because whenever I killed them, it literally says shadow henchman. So uh, I, I killed all of them. I went a little bit north all the way up to the Shark Cove where there's actually a telephone booth, which will turn you into also another shadow henchman because the, the henchman up at the, the Shark Cove, I'm pretty sure they're, they're shadows so I, I i disguised it as the exact same after i killed all of the henchmen at this certain location they were actually shooting at me even though i was wearing this disguise i tried to scan myself to open up the chest and it said shadow henchmen only as well which was pretty strange i i 
I don't see why it wouldn't let me even though I'm disguised as a shadow henchman. One thing that I have noticed is every single different location, the rig, the agency, the shark cove, even these small unnamed locations, all of them have different types of guards which are wearing a different set of clothing, which is why you are unable to actually open up, uh, I guess, certain chests. So th there's telephone booths nearby to each of uh, these locations where you could actually disguise yourself. Going into the next myth, the next myth is what happens when you jump onto a launch pad while you are carrying a knocked henchman. When I tried this myth out, I was actually at the agency. That's kind of like my go-to location for all of these henchman myths, just because I, I think it's like the easiest for me to actually complete. So I opened up the vault, went back into the corner where the supply drop is, and supply drops, if you don't know already, uh, they have either like a 95 to 100% chance to actually drop a launch pad, which is very, very good to know. Shortly after, I was just kind of lurking around the agency till I saw a henchman, which I then knocked and uh, ran over to him picked him up and literally went outside where I then had a launch pad placed down and uh, kind of picked up the henchman and if you don't know already a while ago we tested this exact same myth out except with the henchman we actually had a player over your shoulder and it was the exact same outcome whenever you jump on a launch pad while you're carrying a henchman or even a player uh, they will automatically get thrown and just kind of set down on top of the launch pad. No matter whether you're a knocked henchman or even a knocked player, whenever you are knocked and you're crawling on top of launch pad, the launch pad will have no effect on your player and you can literally crawl on there all you want. So it, it's it's pretty cool. I, I wasn't really expecting much from this anyways. Just to keep in mind, all of these henchmen, they, they're basically the exact same as a regular player. Going into the next myth, the next myth is what happens when you're shaking down an enemy henchman and your teammate places a launch pad underneath your player mid animation now for this myth I, I actually literally did the exact same thing i got a launch pad from the vault at the agency and uh that, that was 100 percent a launch pad so it was very easy i then uh held up uh, enemy henchmen and shook him out at the exact same time where my friend was trying to place down the launch pad from underneath me and he was saying the option to actually place a launch pad disappeared immediately as you can see in this clip uh he, he was shaking out the the henchmen and while he was mid animation it would not allow him to place down the launch pad so epic games actually thought this one out which i was surprised to see or i don't know if it was just like a coding error or what but it does not allow you to place down the launch pad which i thought was pretty strange overall whenever you are doing this to a henchman you need to be very very careful where you do do it because i don't think you could cancel out the animation until it's fully over so that means an enemy could sneak up and literally kill you instantly and you can't even do a single thing going into the next myth and a highly highly requested myth this myth is can you rocket ride a throwed consumable now anytime any new item comes out in the game and you have the option to throw it or it's like a bullet or anything everybody just really wants to try and rock and ride it that, that's like a massive trend uh, throughout the entire Fortnite community since literally day one of Fortnite. Throwing consumables is actually pretty new into the game and not a whole ton of people actually take advantage of this it's actually a very very good thing say you and your friend are split up and he needs some minis or even heals uh, all you have to do is literally throw it and I mean you could throw these things far they're literally the exact same thing as like a grenade or like a C4 kind of now to be honest I don't know why you would ever use this in a regular game but surprisingly after multiple multiple attempts you are actually able to rocket ride a consumable if you do throw it and you are lucky enough and trust me the player that is actually rocket riding the throne consumable like the mini the shield potion or whatever they will go far and what i thought was interesting was that my teammate he took no damage when he landed on the ground which was was pretty strange i mean we were literally probably a good i don't know like 10 15 walls up and for him just to land straight down on the ground taking no damage was uh, pretty shocking. Going into the last and final myth, this myth is, does pickaxing objects like trees and rocks count towards your accuracy stats at the end of the game? This was actually a pretty simple and easy myth to do. It was very similar to the one we actually tested out in the last episode to see if your accuracy would be 0 or 100% if you wouldn't swing your pickaxe once at all at the end of the entire game. So today we tested it out very, very similar to the very last one and uh I, I hit a couple trees hit the blue circle every single time did not miss a single hit and when i died i somehow got the victory royale because i was in the game by myself and checked my stats surprisingly the accuracy was actually at zero percent which 
I thought was, uh, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, you didn't shoot a single gun. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on those post notifications to never miss another Fortnite Mythbusters episode. As well, if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. Let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes on today's episode. That would be insane. And I will see you guys next time.